I'm going to talk about creating open-ended questions where the participant is actually writing an answer, handwriting, or, or typing. Now the areas in red here are important before you start. First you want to understand what your key research goals are. They may be rather general or maybe you have something specific. Eventually you want to become um, reasonably specific or target what you want to understand. And Typically, that means assessing a participant's attitudes, their behaviors, or their understanding within the context of your study or project. Now, if you're not quite sure what you want to ask, I would recommend going to previous research and seeing what they asked and um, using that as a guideline for the kinds of questions you might create. After this, after you have your general goals, you want to decide how structured you want the questions to be. Now they could be fairly general, like what do you think of technology, but you might not get much out of that. That might be a bit too broad. And then you might ask, what do you think about smart boards? And again, that might be a bit too broad, but it might not be. It just depends on the goals of your study. A more structured question would be, what do you think about using smart boards in K-6 to classroom? Uh, for mathematics and that might be a little bit more specific and and help create a context for the user. I guess the important thing is to be clear enough so that the participant who's filling in this survey truly understands what you're asking. You're, you're sure that there's no ambiguity. And one way to um, maximize the clarity is to test out these questions uh, in a pilot study or with, with participants, people that you know, just to make sure that there is common understanding and, and that the question is clear. You also need to modify the language or may need to modify the language to the age of the participant so that the kind of language you would use for a child in grade four would be different than you would use for a student in grade 12 and than again for a higher education student or someone in the workplace. So you want to be careful about that. And then the other thing is you want to provide sufficient space to write the answers. Give, make sure that the uh, participant can actually fill in uh, an answer that they would want to um, elaborate on. If you don't give enough space, that can be a problem. You're actually cutting down the response you probably will be only be able to ask three to five open-ended written questions. If you start to increase that, it, it's quite demanding of the user and you may not get the quality of answers that you want. By the way, and I just missed this point here, but it's important, you can use open-ended questions actually to create survey items. And that's often what people do when they want to create a good survey is that they'll ask some open-ended questions of people and that content will serve as a basis for the items included in the survey. So those are some tips in writing open-ended written questions.